In this video, I will show you all about the workspaces in Premiere Pro, how I use them and how I think you should use them. Your workspace in Premiere Pro means which windows are shown and how are they arranged on your screen. And you can drag those windows bigger or smaller. Also, you can delete them or you can put them together by dragging them together. And if we go to this tab window on top of here, you can see all the windows that are selected now, that are visible now. And if we want to add a window, for example, Lumetri Color, we can just hit Lumetri Color and then it's added somewhere in the screen and then you can drag it to wherever you want. But you know what's really nice? If you go to Window and you have a workspace that you like, you can save it as a new workspace by hitting Save as a new workspace. So as you probably know, when you open up Premiere Pro for the first time, this is the workspace you're starting with. And it's quite overwhelming with all those windows here. Uh, what can you do with it? Uh, so when you've been editing for a while, then you start to create your own workspace. You start to understand what those windows are and what you need and also what you don't need. So you start deleting some windows and you start adding some windows and you change the placement of it. And that's how I ended up with this, my own basic video editing workspace. Let me explain why this workspace is this way. First of all, the timeline. The timeline is filling up the whole bottom half of my screen. I want as much space as possible in my timeline. It's filling up the whole bottom except two things. One are the tools. It's always nice to have the tools next to your timeline. And the other one are the audio levels over here, which is from the top to the bottom. Then the video preview section over here. Over here, I've put my source monitor and my program monitor. The upper right corner is my place to look at video and those things can go together really well because you almost never need them at the same time and if i go to my timeline it's automatically switching to the program monitor and if i double click on a video it automatically switches to the source monitor and that's why they can go together then when we go to the upper left corner over here we have all the basic windows i always use that is first of all the project window the place where i can see all my files then the effects window and then the effect controls window in every workspace ever i always have it here in the upper left corner and in between them there are three other windows i start using last year that is first of all the text window for the automatic subtitles then the essential graphics because every visible aspect of the graphics are these days in the essential graphics and then we have the libraries with all my pre-made visual animation things so that's my own basic video editing workspace that i use for years now but I think that not enough people use the workspaces feature enough. I also did not do it for a very long time. And that is switching between different workspaces. If you analyze your editing workflow, there are situations that are coming back again and again. And for all those situations, you can have different workspaces. And you can switch really easy between those workspaces with these shortcuts. On Mac, it is Option, Shift, and then a number. And also when you go to Edit Workspaces, there you can see all the workspaces there are and you can set a different order and when there's a workspace you don't need you can drag it to do not show so when you created multiple workspaces you can set the arrangement here then go to ok and then over here on this button you can switch even easier between different workspaces also you can set it to show workspace tabs and then you have all those tabs here so it's just one click to go to the next workspace so what i did from the basic workspace i also made a vertical one for all the vertical tiktok videos i make so these days adobe made one themselves but i made one based on my basic so basic vertical so now when we have a vertical video it's way bigger i also with vertical video because it's often shorter i don't need that much timeline and we can make this smaller and then we have more room for for example subtitles which is a big part of vertical video so then the workspace that switches most to is for color correcting and color grading let's say you're editing your video and you think oh this video is a little bit too dark for example then we can select it we can easily switch with option shift 
3 to go to the color workspace and there we have Lumetri color on the side we have Lumetri scopes over here and if we just go to basic corrections and do the exposure a little bit higher then as you can see it automatically made in effect controls the effect Lumetri color also here we can really easily copy it and paste it to another video and if we're done with color grading we're just hitting option shift one to go back to the normal workspace of course i also use some pre-made workspaces for example the audio workspace is something i use a lot with the essential sound but when i change a lot from a pre-made workspace or there's a workspace that i use a lot then i save it as a new workspace also when you made a workspace yourself you can change the name of it so i can put a one point two point or three points in front of the name so it's matching with the keyboard shortcut because this arrangement over here is only visible over here so that's kind of weird so this project is from a video about expensive drones which you really should check out also i'm really curious what is something inside of your workspace that you really like and that you want to share with others leave it underneath here in the comments and then and then i hope to see you in another video here on shoot that video bye